Well, it's going to be wonderful to have the organ finally in the festival hall and to be able to use it because, you know, for us musicians in working in that space, the renovation has not been complete until the organ is back. And now it will be, and it will open up lots of possibilities. We are very happy about that. Well, in fact, I played organ myself a long time ago, and uh, I always liked the instrument a lot. Every organ is very different. So this problematic study really to interest me how to write piece for organ, which will partly sound every time different, but I could create a strong identity anyway for the piece. It forced me to think about uh, the whole starting point differently than what I do normally. In the case of uh, Sahiao, I think she knows, or she she learned quite a lot about the organ because uh, we met several times at Notre Dame. She came during the the, the, uh, the masses just to see how I used the organ, the improvisations, and all of that. And uh, it was clear for me that she knew already a lot of things about the organ, and everything was clear on the way of what she wanted to do. It was not something that she wanted to learn at that stage, but something that she wanted to confirm. In, in France, there is this uh, tradition that the organists can always uh, improvise. So while he's improvising, he's doing really wild things with the uh, registers. So um, I have refreshed really my understanding of organ. And the idea is that I um, write down color ideas, but then we fix them and their principles together. Maybe she, she does not have the sense of the, uh, the name, specific names uh, of the colors, but she sent me, for example, a score We all the uh, the, the ideas, general ideas that she wants. And then, of course, with the meeting that we will have, we will uh, work on those uh, colors to try to find the best way to, uh, to see what she wants and how to realize that with the organ. Well, sometimes, for example, in some uh, percussion parts, I have left, uh, I have asked the percussionist to choose one stone, one metal, and uh, to yeah. ask them to make the combination. Okay. and um, after certain instructions. And I find it's really interesting, in fact, because then it's every time it is dif different. So I tried to do with the organ part here something very graphic, so that it would, as such, already have a strong identity. Mm -hmm. And then this identity could be then, uh, you know, colored differently, and I hope it still remains my music. With the organ, when you write a note on the score, it can sound on s maybe, I don't know, 20, 50 uh, different ways. We have to, to really think of the color, the precise color, which would work the best for that, uh, that passage. Of course, you want to trust your performer and you want to live in your music space for, for the personality of every performer. It's quite difficult to adapt uh, the organ with an orchestra uh, for several reasons. First, because at the position of the organist, you do not hear the organ. So you, you have no sense how the organ can sound in the hall. So this is the first problem. The second problem is that you Imagine how it can sound, maybe you can hear it a bit in the hall, and then you make the registrations, the, the, the choice of the colors. And then at the first rehearsal, you just realize that nothing works because the balance with the orchestra does not work because you have a thing that you didn't think uh, about. And, and it's very important to ad adjust between each rehearsal until the performance, just to be sure that everything will be uh, filled together. And it's, uh, uh, well, this is the only way. We, we have to, to have several rehearsals and to go really uh, step by step. 
Of course, the challenge is, now when I think about it, absolutely, that, that organ is the one instrument that covers the, the entire register of, of the orchestra. I mean, from the lowest note to the very highest note. Um, and below, actually. Um, so the question is, what, what does the orchestra do if the solo instrument al exactly. already can do all this? Yeah. yeah, I understand that. Also, what, in my experience, when conducting other music for organ and orchestra, what has been surprising is how easily an orchestra can totally cover an organ mm. um, because of this very reason that if you have a tutti chord for the orchestra where everybody plays over the, the entire register and then you have the org organ do, do the same thing uh, then the orchestra kind of eats into the organ sound and so it, it is actually more challenging than, than uh, you would think. So what is of course um, interesting in different organs is that they really are different. Uh, not only their sounds are different, even if they have uh, some basic register, each, each of them, but they each have also specialties which the others don't have. For example, this um, new organ in Festival Hall, it's interesting because it's so wide. So. There is the spatial uh, dimension also, that when you decide your registration, uh, it also will uh, have a big effect on how the organ part will sound in the space. Even, for example, when a composer uh, writes the registration, like Franck wrote the registration for the organ in St. Clotilde, if you are not on the organ in St. Clotilde, then you have to uh, find other colors to, uh, uh, to play the music on another instrument because it will never sound the same. So you really have to adapt every, every time. And this is what we will do also for that piece. We always hope that uh, when we recreate a piece like this, uh, that it will also be part of the repertoire of the instrument in, in, the, in the future. We never know. We never know. We'll see. Cross fingers.